Welcome to Informatica video KB series. My name is Abhijit. Today we are going to know more about the salesforce.com connection on Informatica cloud. By the end of this video, we will be able to understand the salesforce.com or SFDC connection. We will know how to reset the security token on SFDC, create a new SFDC connection on Informatica cloud, and also we will be able to configure SFDC instances which need IP address based security or which need to be configured without a security token. Connections on Informatica Cloud can be accessed by logging into the Informatica Cloud application, then going to Configuration Connections. To update a connection, we click on the small edit beside the connection. In this case, however, we will be creating a new connection. Updating of the connection is done in the same way. The connection name has to be populated. The connection name in this case, demo for SFDC. The type will be Salesforce. The four parameters for SFDC connections are the username for SFDC, the password. The service URL defines the instance of SFDC we are trying to connect to. In this case, I'm trying to connect to a development org of salesforce.com and hence the service URL remains as www.salesforce.com until the 25.0 API number that we see there. If I'm trying to connect to a production instance, this will remain the same. If I'm trying to connect to a sandbox org, this will change to test.salesforce. The rest of the URL remains the same. In this case, I'll remove that and change that to www. The security token. The security token is needed to be sent to SFDC from any utility which needs to access the SFDC API. If I try to con try to test or use the application without the security token, SFDC will return an error message stating login must use security token. The security token on SFDC is changed every time there is a password change on SFDC. The security token is delivered over email to the email address associated with the SFDC user requesting the password change. For system admins, this will happen periodically whenever the password gets changed on SFDC. The security token can also be manually changed on SFDC. We can do that by going to the salesforce.com instance and going to setup, go to my personal information and on the right we will see the option for reset your security token. In this case, my password got expired today as I am the system admin of the SFDC instance and hence the security token has already been sent. I can access that by going to my email. Here we go. And the test connection was successful. Now the salesforce.com instance can also be behind IP addresses, meaning we can connect to SFDC or authenticate SFDC API even without using security token on the connection. Now for that, salesforce.com has given the facility of updating the IP addresses from which the connection request is originating from and SFDC will then allow access to the data on your org. Let's go ahead and see how is that done. To access the network access section of SFDC, we need to go to the SFDC instance, go to setup. On the left, we go to administration setup, under that security controls and then network access. This can also be requirement for certain SFDC instances where companies get SFDC, the whole SFDC instance behind a firewall, meaning it cannot be connected to from outside the company. So in that case as well, the IP addresses needs to be trusted on SFDC. So you can provide the Informatica Cloud IP address range to your SFDC administrator. Let's go ahead and update the SFDC, the Informatica Cloud server IP addresses on SFDC. So we put the first range. There is a range of three IP addresses for Informatica Cloud server. Servers, in fact. We save this, go to the next one, 
This is also available on the Informatica Cloud User Guide. The IP addresses. Almost done. Here we go ahead and update. last IP address here we go if we test the SFDC connection on Informatica cloud now we would see the test connection was successful even without using the security token so this is how we configure the salesforce.com connection on Informatica Cloud. However, for IP address based restriction, just updating the IP addresses of Informatica Cloud server on SFDC will not suffice. On Informatica, on Informatica Cloud, whenever we are running a task on Informatica Cloud, the connections are originating from your agent machine the agent is the application that is sitting on your server connecting to salesforce.com or your databases and transferring data within your firewall without letting access of your data go beyond your firewall the ip address updated for informatica cloud on sfdc the informatica cloud servers will only allow metadata access or the table names or object name access to informatica cloud however running of the job is still dependent on us updating not only the Informatica Cloud server passwords on SFDC but also updating the external IP address of the secure agent machine on SFDC. To find the external IP address of the secure agent machine we need to log in to the site whatismyipaddress.com from the secure agent machine. In this case I have got the IP address let me update that on my SFDC instance. Here we go. The start and the end will be the same as it is one IP address. And that's it. So now we have our SFDC instance ready to authenticate connections coming from the Informatica cloud server and also be able to run jobs off salesforce.com and be able to load data from SFDC to your data warehouse or your other data endpoints within your firewall. So this is how the SFDC connections are created on Informatica Cloud. Please reach out to us if you have any queries or if you have any feedback we would love to hear from you. You can reach us on support videos at informatica.com or you can follow our Twitter handle at InfaSupport. Thanks a lot for your time.